Good morning everyone. Today is Tuesday, 9 January 2024. First week in ordinary time. Service leads to the glorification of God. In the first reading, Hannah gives her firstborn son to the service of God and glorifies God for the divine gift of her son. In today's gospel passage, Jesus exercises authority from the very first moment of his ministry by his service of those who need his care and in doing this, he gives glory to his Abba Father. Hana comes before the Lord and prays for a son. She promises to dedicate the boy to the service of God. God hears her prayer and gives her a son whom she names Samuel, meaning God hears or God is heard. Hana trusts in God's goodness. She believes that she is serving God and God's people by giving her son to the Lord's service. In the Gospel today, my thoughts center around Jesus' authority. He does not get this authority to teach and heal from some rabbinical school. He is not the disciple of some great rabbi. He is not a descendant of Levi and thus he is not a member of the priestly class. What gives him his authority? is his mission from God, his Abba Father. His authority is demonstrated by the way he touches people's lives. With divine compassion, his authority comes from his service of God's people. We who call ourselves Christians are called to imitate our Master Jesus Christ. We are, we are given authority to continue the mission of Jesus. We are to be servants of God by our service to those around us. We are called to use the authority we have been given in service of those who are under our authority. We are to lead by example and by building edifying relationships with others. That means we should see how we can be of service to others, not how others can serve us. And true concern and service may include challenging and correcting others, but it must be done in a loving way which demonstrates that what we want is that which is best for each person whom we serve. God bless us all today.